Welcome back to another Essential Finance video, where I use design to help simplify all those confusing and hard to understand finance concepts. A while back, I posted four videos on the basics of option trading, and they seem to be pretty useful for many of you. But there is a minor issue that some of the audience members pointed out. I also noticed this. For example, if you buy a call, how would the price of the call change over time? Can you sell that early before expiration? When can you do that? And what will happen in real time? So in this video, I'm going to answer all those questions by showing you how buying call option will work in real time as a live demo and simulation with real option data. There are quite a few cases to cover, so let's get started right now. <music> Morning everyone, my name is Justine and I'm a designer working in Silicon Valley. Yes, I'm a designer and I'm here today to use my design skills and design thinking to help further explain buying call options. Specifically, I'll be using TD Ameritrade Think or Swim platform to help demonstrate, give you a demo, a simulation on buying a call option and show you step by step how the price of that call option changes over time and how much money you will make or lose over time and when you can close that call position. Previously, I have explained buying call options in a visual and simple way. I highly, highly recommend you to check that video out first so that you understand the mechanism behind it and such that you won't get confused halfway through this video. Again, you don't need to smash the like button just yet. Do that in the end if you find this video helpful or insightful. Hold me accountable. So without further ado, let's dive right into it. Again, this is the TD Ameritrade Think or Swim platform. You can click the On Demand feature on the top right corner in the application to go into a different view. As you can see on the top bar, it will say virtual account, meaning all the money that you'll be using will be fake money, paper money. It's a great way for you to practice, to take a look at what will happen if you do certain things or you trade stocks or options. So after we turn off the privacy filter, now you can see we have 100K to spend cash we have 100k option buying power and 200k stock buying power all right in this demo i'm going to use tesla as the underlying stock for buying calls okay so we can click this and we can navigate to any time in the past to backtest your theory your strategy your hypothesis so we can let's try april 12 2021 let's just set it to be 9 35 a.m so 9.35, you woke up, you open this application, and then you can hop to the trade panel or the trade tab, and then you can you can see this is the option chain. You can go to April 16, 21. That is the all the Tesla options that you can buy, you can sell, cost on the left side and puts on the right side. Since we're focusing on cost today, so we only focus on the anything, all the data on the left side, okay? So let's just pause it for now so it's easy to see what's going on. Tesla right now, the stock is trading at $699.27 per share. So here are the call options for Tesla that are expiring on the 16th of April, which is the Friday of this week. April 12th is the Monday, so you can see 16 is a Friday. So right now, uh, let's say you really, you're really confident that Tesla is going to go up this week. Um, if Tesla goes up, the if the stock goes up, the option price will also go up, especially the call option price will also go up. So you're making this bet. So you might think, oh, Tesla is going to go above 720. So you can say, okay, uh, I'm going to buy a 720 strike Tesla call. And since the mark price is 910 and we can reduce it to 910 and since you know option is in the unit of a hundred so you need to multiply 9.10 by a hundred which costs you nine hundred and ten dollars to buy this 720 call option on Tesla okay so let's hit send boom we got it all right so on Monday April 12th 2021 at 9:35:03, we bought a Tesla call you can go to the monitor and see what position you have and if you expand it by clicking the drop down button you're gonna see you have the 720 call okay uh, you tr you spend nine hundred and ten dollars on it so the quantity is plus one so okay so this is Monday so let's fast forward all right let's fast forward to let's say Tuesday same time and let's see what happens so we can hit play and let time progresses a little bit and then pause right away and boom we can see the pose means position. We have this position. We have the 720 strike. So on Tuesday, 
April 13th, around the same time, 9.35 a.m. California time, Tesla already went up to $743. It's way above the strike price that we have. And if you look at the option price, the, op the call option that we bought on Monday, it used to be what? It used to be only $910. Right now, it's $3,100. It's 3K. This is amazing, right? Just one day and then it went from $900 to 3K. So at this point, it goes up to 3K. You can choose to close the position right now if you want, okay? You can do it. Or if you think Tesla can keep going up until the Friday, you can keep riding it. You might think the option price might go up to uh, 3.5K, go up to 4K. You can choose to wait until Tuesday, Friday. It's all up to you. Let's say, let's just for the sake of this demo, let's say we want to close this position, okay? We can do that. Let's not get greedy and close it. I'm incredibly happy with 3K and we can right click, create closing order since we bought the car. So to close it, we just have to sell it, right? We can sell it uh, at, which will be $3,105. So we can confirm and send. So this is the amount that we're gonna get. This is sent. Boom! Confirmation. Sold. All right. So we can go to the monitor. So you can see quantity is now zero, which means we completely close the position. We are safe. And you can see the PL, the day profit loss. We just made 2.2K. We made $2,000 in just one day. So yes, you can close your position. You can close the call anytime before the expiration date, which was what? April 16th is Friday. Right now it's only Tuesday. Yeah, of course I can close it. So we're now back to April 12th, 2021, 9.35 in the morning, California time. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna buy the same 720 Tesla car, okay? We're gonna buy that, 710, we're gonna spend, that's how much we wanna spend. We bought it, okay? So now let's fast forward. One day later, the same time, April 13th, Tuesday, 9.35. Let's go back to that um, time frame. So on Tuesday, we know Tesla, the 720 car that we bought, it already went up to 3K, 3.1K. But at the same time, I'm very confident that Tesla is gonna keep going up, okay? So I'm not going to close the position. Instead, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait until Friday. I'm gonna wait until the expiration day, April 16th. So let's fast forward to April 16th. I just click that. Let's say uh, 12.35, okay? 25 minutes before the closing time in California time. So let's hit go. So right now, the 720 core, it's only 1700, okay? It's only 1.7K. So my guess was wrong. Tesla doesn't actually go up that much. Uh, so instead of profiting 2K, I'm now only profiting about $800. But it's okay, right? I can do the same thing. I can choose to close the position. I can sell it, confirm and send, right? I can profit it. Go back to the monitor. I can take a look at this. Uh, I profited about $825. Not bad, it's still good, right? I, I have a profit. Um, so this is one way to close the position, right? Just selling the call, sell the call back to the market to somebody else. There's another way to close the position, which is to exercise your call option. And I'm gonna go into it right now. Cool, so right now we are back to April 12th, Monday, 9.35, okay? So I can go to trade, Tesla, Sometimes it doesn't refresh, you just have to hit the play and then let everything move a little. We can go back to the 720 call, right? April 16th expiration. We can buy it, same price, let's say. Confirm, sent, then we have it. We fast forward, we go all the way to April 16th, 12.35, 25 minutes before market closes on a Friday, California time. And yes, the 720 call is about 1.7K. So instead of doing create close order, here's an option that says exercise, okay? So let's exercise and see what happens. So if we exercise, which means we can buy 100 shares of Tesla, right? 100 shares of Tesla at $720. When we buy the call option, we are buying a call option contract that allows the buyer to do this, to exercise, right? If you're not too familiar with all these terminologies, I highly recommend you check out the buy call video that I uploaded a while back. That should give you a better fundamental understanding of what buying call actually is. So let's continue this demo. So we can hit confirm and send, right? We, it costs us 
72k and we have 198k as the stock buying power so we can totally do that so i have the money i can buy 100 shares of tesla at 720 per share so i can exercise it's sent boom it worked so we can go back to monitoring you can see the 720 call is now zero so we close the call position and instead right now we get 100 shares of tesla okay uh, but how do we profit from this? Well, you have 100 shares of Tesla, so I can right click, I can close the position. I can sell all of them at $737. Remember, we exercise the option, we exercise the call option that allows us to buy 100 shares of Tesla at 720. But the market is trading Tesla at $737. It's above what we purchased it. So we can totally sell all of them, confirm and send, send, boom, we sold all of them. So in the monitor, Tesla, you can see the PL day profit and loss, we make $800, $833. You can also see that in the cash and sweep vehicle, we just get $833 more. So as you can see, closing the position by selling the call back to the market and exercising it, your profit is pretty much the same. And personally, I prefer, of course, to just sell the call back because that's it's only one thing to do. If I were to exercise, I have to do two things. I have to exercise first and then I have to sell 100 shares. So of course, I prefer the simplicity and the convenience of just selling the calls to close the position. So I'm going to go back in time a little bit. On April 16th, 12.35, we have this 720 Tesla call option open, right? We still haven't closed it yet. I can choose to do nothing. I don't sell it back to the market. I don't exercise it. I can just leave it as it is. So what will happen then? If I don't do anything, and if I have enough stock buying power, I can buy 100 shares at 720. After the market closes, my brokerage is going to look into my account and see this open position. And it is in the money, 720 is in, it's within 737, it's in the money. So they also see that I have enough money to exercise it, so they will just exercise it for me, okay? So that means I will have 100 shares of Tesla in my account the next Monday, the April 19th. I will see that in my account because my brokerage will exercise it for me if I choose to do nothing right now. But of course, that's implying that I want to keep 100 shares of Tesla. But if I don't want anything, I just want to keep my account clean on Friday, I will have to sell it to close it or I will have to exercise it to close my position. So now let's go through the second case. Tesla goes down or it goes up but not high enough to be above the strike price on your call option contract. Which means on the expiration day, it's out of money. This is not what you want. And we'll see how that plays out. So again, now we're on April 12th. Monday 2021, 9.35. So instead, maybe this time, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, Tesla's gonna go up really high. It's gonna soar this week. It's gonna go up to the moon. So maybe I think it's gonna go above 760. Hmm, very likely. Okay, so with that mindset, I'm gonna buy a 760 call that expires on this coming Friday, which is four days away. And I'm gonna spend $235 on it, right? $235 on it, sent. And then, who I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm excited. So now let's fast forward to April 16th, a Friday, when it expires. I'm gonna set it to be, again, 12.35, 25 minutes before the market closes in California time. So let's hit go. On April 16th, Friday, 12.35, 25 minutes before the market closes, Tesla stock price is actually $737. Well, of course, it's 43 cents. So what's happening is that we were betting Tesla is going to go up and preferably go up above 760 to make this call option useful in case we exercise it, right? And now looking at the 760 call, it's only worth a dollar and 50 cents. Why is that? It's only a dollar and 50 cents because the 760 call that we bought, the 760 being the strike price, is not in the money. So as you can see, anything that is below 735, right? It's in this kind of purple shade color. So this, any strike price here in the purple shade is in the money because, right, 720 is within 737. 700 is within 737. 640 is within 737. But 760, of course, is out of it. It's above it. It's out of money. So when it's out of money, 
your option contract does not have value anymore. Why? Because let's say we want to exercise this option, this 760 call option. You, I, I still could, right? Because I own the option. I bought it. I can exercise it. By exercising it, I will buy 100 shares of Tesla at $760. But why would I do that? It doesn't make sense for me to do that because I can buy 100 shares at $737 from the market. Then why would I exercise the call option contract? It does not make any sense. Well, what can I do now? Uh, there's nothing much I can do. I basically just lose the whole bet. I lose my, I lose to my own hypothesis. I lose to my own confidence. But one thing I can do, or I can just close the position, right? I can close it, sell the contract back. I get a dollar back. Woohoo, I got a dollar back. But I just lose $232 by spending it on the 760 call option on Monday, on April 12th. Another thing I can do is do nothing. Because once my option, once my 760 call is out of the money, after the market closes, the brokerage, TD Ameritrade, is going to automatically close it for me because it's obvious that this option does not have value anymore. And that's what will happen if your call option is out of the money. Tesla can go down, right? It can go all the way down to 700. That means your 760 is out of the money. Or it can go up to 755 from the Monday price, but it still doesn't hit your 760 strike price your call option is still going to be priceless, going to be worthless. So that is the takeaway there. All right, guys, we have gone through a live demo and a simulation on buying a call option on Tesla and saw exactly how the price of the option would change over time all the way through the expiration date. Short answer to this question, yes, you can sell that option once you feel like you have some profit on Wednesday. You don't have to wait until Friday. You don't have to wait until the expiration. So buying call options is not that complicated overall, isn't it? Do you have a better understanding of how it works and how to execute? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. That's all for today. Thank you guys for watching. If you learned something new or got some useful information, Congratulations, and I hope I earn a big like from you for this video. If you want to see more finance videos like this, consider smash the subscribe button as well. Doing so will tremendously help the channel and motivate me to produce more high quality content on the road. Have fun following your passion and keep using this design to square up your finances. See you on the next video. Cheers!